Claudia Mann was shot dead in an alleged drug deal gone wrong and Tswane Metro yet again receives an unqualified audit. I am Andrea Kuzel and you are watching this week's top stories. A 72-jarige vrou ontvang tans berading nadat sy een inbreker in haar centurion erf geskiet het. Trudy Koetser het die inbreker wat bezig was om een kaarvenster oop te forceer in sy arm gewond nadat sy een waarschuwingsgoot afgevuur het. The Tswane Metro on Thursday received its fifth consecutive unqualified audit from the Auditor General. This despite a claim by the Democratic Alliance on Wednesday that the municipality had misspent a whopping 4 billion rand of the ratepayers' money. According to the Auditor General's findings, um, um, the letter states that uh, the city has incurred the uh, stupendous sum of 4 billion rand in irregular expenditure, of which only 1.2 billion rand has been disclosed in the um, audited financial statements. The balance, the balance thereof uh, being uh, discovered during an audit. This is the highest sum of irregular expenditure ever incurred by a metro, uh, by a metro anywhere in South Africa. An alleged mafioso from Laudium was killed and another man injured during a shootout in Boxburg. Ziad Yanu gained popularity after featuring in a viral video Chikilamba. Although it could not be confirmed, it was reported that Yanu's death occurred when a drug deal went wrong. Groot dele van die moot was dinsdag sonder elektriciteit nadat een krachtbox in Queenswood ontplof het. Een brandweerman wat bezig was om die vlammen te blus is op die toneel dier een voertuig geraak gerei. Hy het lichte beserings opgedoen en is reeds uit die hospitaal ontslaan. Centurion residents are yet again faced with deteriorating infrastructure, this time a badly damaged road in Bronberg. The road was damaged last year when a water pipe burst, but to date, the metro has made no efforts to fix Witstenkoot Road. This is a result of three months waiting for Shwani to repair a broken burst water pipe that was uh, damaged, and this is the end result. This matter, what you see here, happened on the 16th of October. The matter has been escalated and reported by me as a councillor and various other councillors and numerous times. You can see the vehicles in the cars here, how they have to stop in the road. Although they lost the series to England, the pro-tier cricketers saved face by winning the last test when newcomer Kajiso Rabada managed to slice through the English batting lineup at Supersport Park in Centurion on the weekend. South Africa defeated the English by 280 runs on the final day of the fourth and final test match. That was this week's most read stories. Please join us again next week for news that had Pretoria's talking. Be informed. Read record.